Hello Unreal users, Alex here, your Unreal Guide, and today I'm gonna show you the final piece of this puzzle, the HDRI matching tool. As you saw in previous tutorials, we did made a material and rotated that material of our HDRI. However, if we go to our skylight here and we select the cube map, we won't be able to drag this rotation into that channel. The only image we can put here is actual HDRI. And this HDRI also have rotation. So how do we match that rotation to our background? And this is what I'm going to show you today. As you can see here, I already did a little baking test. And I also added in every sphere, I also added this HDRI image. So this HDRI image got the same rotation as the spheres, the background, and the sky. So everything aligns and matches perfectly. So today I'm going to show you how we can use this cool tool in order to match. It comes actually with 64 HDRI packs and the rotation tool. So after you guys download it, you can go to your uh, Unreal Engine and you can add this. You just click Add. And you select project and this HDRI has been added to your project okay now the only thing is uh, what I really did in this one differently is adding this uh, cube map of HDRI to all my reflection spheres now I noticed something if you look at this also uh, at this chrome material it doesn't really reflect the environment of our loft it does reflect only the HDRI and that's good if you do vehicles if you just take this HDRI and you place some object around it this is the method that you're gonna use you're gonna put HDRI in your reflection spheres but inside this interior this is just not necessary because we're gonna hit different angles like different wall angles we're getting into fernell if you can see here on the side and we're gonna get this bluish light from the hdri or uh, as you can see here or somewhere yeah i can see it here coming up and um therefore especially this wall right here see getting really not natural color okay so we're not going to use any hdri in reflection spheres the only place we're going to use it is in the background and in the skylight okay so let me open my loft before the hdri tool and here if you remember this is where we stopped in our previous tutorial so this is uh, my editor sphere and this editor sphere is being rotated by using this angle right inside the material however we cannot really put this rotated angle into our sky so how do we match it here comes this tool in play when you download it add it to your projects it's 1.5 gigs it's going to be added as a folder called hdri tool and then you go to your blueprints and then you drag and drop this hdri right here now we can lower it down and you can see if I'm when I'm lowering down our editor sphere doesn't really match that anymore so I'm going to hide that editor sphere and I'm going to work with this HDRI tool only so let me do a little check if we have other maps that we can add uh, let's try to drag and drop this guy here so I'm dropping inside my sky a new HDRI and when I'm going go when I'm going up to the HDRI background tool I can click here on refresh and it's going to refresh so every time I rotate this image and I go back to my HDRI tool I click refresh and I can get the angle but we don't get live representation how do we get this live representation we go back to our blueprints we have here uh, utility widget that starts running 
right away. You can see here. And this widget is actually updating our HDRI rotation automatically. Isn't that cool? So now we can drop any HDRI in there and get, um, get rotation of our sphere and sky. So I'm going to go back to my flipped version of that image. And let's do next thing. I'm going to position my sun according to what we had earlier in the test, what we had inside our max and V-ray scene. So I remember we had some nice lighting coming in and spilling some nice shadows here. This looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to adjust this back to our test that we did to our method when we lowered the intensity and increased our NDRI lighting. So 215, this is actually going to give a nice bounce. Also, we're going to increase the intensity of the sky to three. So we get a little bit more bouncing. Both of them are set to static because for production, we are doing static uh, light baking. Now, this tool also works with uh, RTX and all the ray tracing and all the live stuff also going to be updated. But um, let's go and get our position right. So let me launch this tool again. And I'm going to go inside my loft. And here I can start rotating and matching my sun. I can also uh, shift my sun a little bit so it will be easier to get the right direction. And let's go back to our sky. Now it will be easier to match. Okay. Let's put 30. And that's looking pretty right in the right direction. Okay. Now, all this stuff being set up, we can click light baking. I'm going to close this and let's click preview build lighting only. Now, very important in this HDRI tool here, we didn't set uh, our light shadow to be static. And uh, we're probably going to get now a message that says, all right, so we got this uh, message here, says large actor received three shadows, will create an extreme performance hit unless the bcas dynamic shadow is set to false so what this is what we need to do we need to put this on static lighting casting and let's do build now it will go through properly all right so in my opinion this is one of those most important things when it comes to HDRI lighting and using HDRIs inside your interiors or exteriors. I haven't found any good technique in order to match it unless Datasmith is going to add this option uh, automatically when you export. But for now, this tool is the essential thing. I don't think there is anything else that can really fix and get the alignment properly with your reflection spheres, with your HDRI maps and with your sky especially sky because you don't really see it when you rotate it but this tool is very handy all right and the build was done we have some uh, minor overlaps here that we need to fix on the models but this is not a big deal as long as our build is working properly here okay so we can see how the 
alignment actually contributing to this scene we can see a lot of light coming in and we have really nice dark shadows at the back at the background and if we rotate here we can see very nice soft shadows on the floor and uh, we have this also a little colorization coming from the HDRI but what's the most important to get is the light flow and the light flow is always we're going to have more light more lit areas around the windows and more shadowed areas as we progress into our interior if i switch here to lighting we can really see how this uh, lighting works so this is what you guys need to do in order to get photorealistic lighting inside your interiors and this is the final step I do hope you guys enjoyed those free video tutorials from our update of Unreal Engine class. We have more than 50 tutorials in that class and from now on I'm going to add textures, I'm going to add more models, I'm going to do a quality bake, position cameras and execute a fully photorealistic video production of that interior space. So if you want to learn how to render and create photorealistic interiors, join our class and I'll be more than glad to assist you. Okay? So again, thanks for watching. This is Alex, your Beauty Guide. Tux. Ciao.